Today, I will be showing you guys how to send your crypto from Luno to Binance or to whatever exchange that you would like to send it to. Well, in my case today, it is Binance. So I'm going to use Binance platform as an example. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Dennis and today, obviously, we're going to talk about how to send your cryptocurrency out of the Luno exchange. And from time to time, when I read my comments, from what I see in my opinion, I feel like there are a lot of crypto newbies out there that wants to know about information just like this. So I thought that this video could help you guys and without further ado, let's just get into it. So right here on my phone screen, you guys can see that I'm on the home page in Luno. All we gotta do when we wanna send crypto out of Luno is that we go to bottom wallets and then we're gonna go ahead and click this one over here, send. So right here, you guys can choose your crypto. Obviously for my case today, it will be Bitcoin. So whenever I click into Bitcoin, the top right, it has that barcode kind of thing. So I'm assuming that you can scan stuff. That is when you can scan and send your cryptocurrency into a hard wallet. Who would you like to send to? So if this is the first time that you're doing this, it's not going to be like this. It's going to ask you whether to confirm if you want to enable the send function on Luno app. And with that, you gotta agree with it and you will have to wait at least 24 hours for safety reasons before you can actually start sending your crypto out of Luno. So let's just assume that you've already waited for 24 hours, you know, come back to this video after that. And then all we gotta do is head over to Binance, right? So we're gonna go ahead to Wallets. We're gonna go ahead to Spot. And then we're going to search BTC. So this is the wallet that we are going to deposit into. That is why we need to come into BTC and extract the wallet's address from Luno, send it to Binance. We're gonna go ahead and click deposit. So right here, you guys can see that there is this deposit address and then make sure at the top left, it says BTC network. You do not wanna click onto BEP2 or BEP20 because that is another network for Binance. So we're gonna stick to BTC, copy this deposit address, go back to Luno and send it, all right? Then we're gonna go ahead and click next. And before you send it, always remember when you're sending cryptocurrency, you'll have to always do a test amount. So let's just say you wanna send a total of a thousand ringgit to your Binance wallet. Always test it with about maybe 50 ringgit, 100 ringgit to make sure that you actually receive it in your Binance wallet because a lot of people like make mistakes when they're sending big amounts of cryptocurrency and eventually just to find out that they send it to the wrong address or the wrong way. And therefore, all the money just go down the drain and you do not want that. So right here, we are going to test it out with, let's just say a hundred ringgit. And then let's just go ahead and click next. So let's just verify, right, it's correct. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit confirm. So the approximate network fee, which is the gas fees will be 18 ringgit. It's quite pricey at this point, but I'd rather pay a little bit more on the gas fee or the network fee instead of losing all of my cryptocurrency, which I value a lot. So. Let's just go ahead and do it. Confirm. Face ID. So right here, they'll actually text you and then you're gonna have to go ahead and verify it. So authorize it. Mission success. So all we gotta do right now is to wait and verify whether if the crypto has been sent over to our Binance wallet just by reloading the Binance wallet. So on a typical Bitcoin transaction, you'll have to wait up to 10 minutes to actually receive your Bitcoin from one wallet to another. It's kind of long, but that is why a lot of people say that Bitcoin have a scalable issue and people are actually working on a lightning solution. You guys can go ahead and check out on the top left or the top right to see the video that I talked about on Bitcoin updates. But that is a topic for another time. I will talk further into it, but as of now, we're just gonna stick to this one. Also, excuse me for my phone's notifications. I forgot to turn it off. Hopefully you guys can hear me clear enough. And with that, I'll check back in when I receive my Bitcoin in my Binance wallet. All right, so it's been like five to seven minutes and I did not keep track of the time, but all you guys can see is on my screen, BTC just now, a while ago, it was $0. Right here, you guys can see that it's 23.85 cents. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've successfully sent cryptocurrency out of Luno into Binance Exchange. Whether you want to trade, whether you want to stake or whatever you want to do it, you guys can have the free options to do so. That is why I chose to send out my Bitcoin from Luno to Binance because Luno don't really provide you an option to stake or do whatever you want with your coins. So, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I have showed you guys how to send your Bitcoin or your cryptocurrency out of Luno. Hopefully, this video helped you. 
hopefully it did not waste too much of your time so if it did help you then smash the like button i will be eternally grateful for you with all of that being said i do not want to delay you guys from watching another video or going to your own next activity with that being said i hope to see you guys in the next video